When I hear your honor, my client would like to give a victim, a victim impact statement. I get goosebumps. This means I'm about to hear from the victim exactly how they felt and feel and exactly what happened to them. A victim impact statement is written or verbal information from the victims about how the crime has affected them. Victim impact statements are used at sentencing and parole. The, sen the statement is the victim's story of how the crime affected his or her life, how life was before the crime compared to after the crime, and how the crime has impacted other people. The statement may include details of physical impact like injuries, disfigurement, disability, ongoing medical treatment and rehab, details of emotional and psychological impact like feelings of guilt, anger, fear, anxiety, depression, loss of trust, safety and security concerns, insomnia, nightmares, counseling, substance abuse, details of financial impact like medical bills, counseling expenses, counseling expenses, transportation costs to medical and court appointment, appointments, loss of income, details of lifestyle, family or social impact like changes in routine, child care, divorce, no longer participating participating in events or activities, no longer driving, no longer working, or forced relocation. It may also include what outcome the victim would like and why. I once had a victim impact statement from a daughter to her father. He molested his own granddaughter, which was his daughter's daughter. She cried while reading her statement and was reading very fast and she was very emotional. It takes everything in you as the guardian of the record to not react while taking down such an emotional record about child molestation. You are innocent until proven guilty. And on this day, this man was pleading guilty to sexually assaulting his granddaughter. Another example of a victim impact statement I had was of two daughters giving a statement about their mother. Their mother passed away from being hit by a reckless driver while she was in the crosswalk and she had the right of way. They wanted to let the driver know that this isn't the way their mother was supposed to die. These impact statements will stay with me forever. They impacted my soul. Being in criminal court can be very taxing emotionally and mentally, but the one way I'm able to really stay calm in the courtroom and preserve the record is by breathing in and out slowly. And then I have to tell myself, this record is essential to every person in this courtroom. It's important for the defendant and defense counsel because they may need, that, may need this for an appeal and or to prove their innocence. It's important for the prosecution so they have their record for the complainant to prove their case beyond a reasonable doubt. It's important for the judge just in case they need to make a proper ruling on a motion in the case for either side. As court reporters, we must remain impartial at all times and our job is to make an accurate record of the proceedings because people's lives depend on our unbiased, accurate record. Monitor yourself in order to prevent vicarious trauma. It's important to keep track of your levels of burnout or compassion fatigue. Here are some self-care tips. Take care of yourself. Take time for yourself. Separate yourself. Limit yourself. Help yourself. Be honest with yourself. Empower yourself. Get enough sleep and maintain physical health and allow for rest. Support mental and physical health with good nutrition. Try yoga and meditation. That's it.